Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. So let's be, uh, build this brick wall right here. Yeah. Uh, so basically, what we're doing is we're building a mine shaft, guys. And I am covering it in uh, brick wall, uh, mainly for a few reasons. Uh, basically, if you look at the map, if you zoom out, you'll see that things start to blur themselves together, especially as you uh, get lower and lower and you're going through areas. I mean, I have other, uh, you know, elevator units in this place that can be very hard to see at a glance. But I want to make a shaft here so that when you uh, are, you know, scrolling over the map, you can see very clearly, oh, okay, that's where the elevator is. It comes down here. There's a rail cart system down below as well. And it's very, very easy to get to and uh, to notice where that's at. I mean, that, that's kind of the overall theme is what I'm going for. Hopefully, we can actually get it to that point. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we are using a lot of freaking uh, tiles here. And to be honest, guys, they're not exactly the cheapest in the world to make. They do take a, uh, a fair bit of water. And I'm probably doing this on, like, the worst level in the world for water. Because uh, you just don't get very much of it. Uh, and when I say don't very uh, don't get very much of it, I mean you get almost absolutely none. When it does happen to rain, uh, the water evaporates rather quickly. There we go. Come back up here and grab that uh, as fast as possible. Uh, the, the big thing that I've been keeping an eye out for is just uh, rain. And uh, yeah, it evaporates so quickly that... A lot of the time, I just, uh, I don't get to it very, you know, just within the few seconds that it takes before it evaporates. So, that's been a problem. That's why I just haven't been able to build up enough. Now, lately, we've been able to build quite a few bricks because I used pretty much all the water that I had accumulated from, uh, from earlier in the game. And, uh, the only thing we really needed to make is the, um, the clay. And I will show you guys right here. It uses brick and it uses clay. Now, we're out of clay, but bricks, they also use clay. So you have to use clay and then even more water and then some coal. And that makes you one brick. And then you use that one brick as well as a little bit of clay, which also uses water uh, to make one tile. Actually, I think it's two tiles. So not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do. You need a lot of clay. I wish we could find clay on the map, but as far as I know, you the only place you can get it is to actually make it. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to deal with that as it goes. Uh, might be able to come down here and get this. This is a nice little chunk of water. Might uh, might go ahead and cast a portal. Yeah, let's go ahead and cast a portal. I need the water more than I need the power. I'm more than fine letting my guys walk back and forth while they get the coal and put down the tiles for the uh, the elevator shaft. But the water, unfortunately, is a timed, you know, right there as I say it, it's timed. If they don't get up here fast enough, the water will be completely gone. And chances are, because they're taking this sweet little time doing something else, that they're not coming through this portal. I mean, they're not even coming through this portal over here. And they're supposed to go through portals before they go do anything else. So either, um, either they're ignoring that or they're too busy down below and they're just now getting back up to the top. Yeah, see, they're just now getting back up here. And we do have a wave incoming in about 12 minutes, so we do have to kind of worry about that. Come on, you can get in there, guys. Come on, gather water. Get up, gather water. You can do it. You can do it. Somebody, one of you, please. Come on. Come on. Nope, not going to happen. They're all of it gone. Yep. Dang it. You guys suck. Make me waste my portal. Ugh. Jeez, I need to, I don't know, I mean, there's not much I can do about that, to be honest. It's just uh, one of the things that's going to happen. Let me pick up some of this scaffolding. Now they don't really need it over here. And I can put it up here so they can actually get up here now. And we can put some of this down. Let's see, you don't need this one either. So let's go ahead and take get this out of the way. And we're going to keep going down. And as you can see, it takes a lot of scaffolding to do what we're doing here. Uh, we can get rid of all this, put some more lights down over here real quick. Now, this is the lighting that actually adds comfort to the house. don't necessarily need that. I just like the way it looks. It has a, uh, a fairly unique look to it that you won't find too many places. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and put some scaffolding down here. Oh, crap. Is that going right down the mine shaft? It sure is. Now, I've already done this several times. It's just it's the perfect place for my uh, my scaffolding to be and that's why I keep putting it there but uh, unfortunately the mine shaft is there so I can either do one of two things I can cover it up and have a bridge or something like that come through it so my guys can stand on it or I can just put it in a different spot move it over 
Uh, so it's not, you know, it's not going to be ideal, but it's better than nothing. So that's what we're going to do. Let's come up this way. We do need it on this side anyways for a time. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Nope, that's not what we want. Okay, so we can pick that up, and we can finally get rid of all of this. We don't need this scaffolding there at all anymore. Get rid of that, and we'll get rid of all of this. There we go. And there might be something back behind that one. Nope, nothing back behind that one. And now we don't need this little scaffolding down here, because this row right here does everything we could actually want it to do. Let's chop that down. We might as well start getting rid of some of this. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and tell them to make another row right here down on the bottom. And you guys will have to let me know what you think of this so far. Now, some of you may be like, why even waste your time with it? It's really not going to be doing that much for you. It's just there for convenience. Well, yeah, you're right. It, it literally is there just for my convenience, for my uh, aesthetic looks that I, I'm trying to go for. But with that said, it makes a difference to me. It makes a difference on the enjoyment of the game. And then, of course, you know, it's just, that's part of the game, you know, like actually coming in here and taking the time to design a world that you actually like the look of is a huge portion of what this game has to offer. Now, you don't necessarily even have to check that portion out. You can actually come through and just, uh, you know, do what you're doing, which is just to, uh, to kill creatures and level up and get better armor and go from le one level to the next to the next and do... Uh, you know, the PvP and stuff like that. That's definitely an option you can take. Let me go ahead and tell people to come over here and attack. Uh, because it's going to bring people up here a lot faster. And because they're up here, uh, they're going to be able to, you know, get that water and stuff. Since they're uh, they're in the area. <laughs> and it kind of looked like he could use the help. For some reason, these guys spawned and, uh, you know, kind of wiping the floor with my guys now. At, I think, about two minutes... Before the next wave, I'm going to tell my guys to go to sleep. Now, most of them are not damaged very much uh, because they do still have health potions, so they will use that if they get too damaged. But they do have the tendency to, uh, you know, forget to do that stuff at times. And I will look at them, especially if they're falling a lot instead of getting hit by enemies. If they're getting hit by enemies, they almost always remember to uh, go ahead and cast uh, the health potion. But if they're not, if they're actually just, uh, you know, falling down and getting hurt that way, uh, they have uh, have a really bad habit of just not using health potions at all. So let's go ahead and use a little bit of our power. Get that up here because I do need to uh, to gather this water. Going a little bit of water crazy, but as I said before, it's, it's hard to find on this level. I've seen it many, many times where I won't be this diligent. And within a matter of like an hour or so, I'll look up there and I'll be like, there's still no water there. And, yeah, it's just there. It just disappears so quickly. So you got to check all the time if you really want to keep up with, with what's going on. Let's see how much further we got. Actually, we don't have that much further to go. So we're almost done with one full uh, one full section. Mage Book teaches you how to turn flies into elephants. Let's see. So that's one, one section right there. And we got another section right there. That's two sections. Uh three sections is there not one here i need to put another elevator unit down here so that's going to be a total of like two and a half three sections before it gets down here to uh to the tracks so that's not too bad three three sections and i was able to do that in the course of maybe two three episodes uh for one section just figuring it out and uh, making sure everything was set up so if i can go out and i can harvest the resources in between videos and then this will be a lot quicker and uh, pretty cool looking, I think, when we're finally done. Sure is taking them a long time to uh, to do this side over here. I don't really blame them. They can come down in the elevator unit. Of course, why wouldn't you want to get this side first before you go all the way down and all the way over here? Because you got to go all the way down. Like, you can't... As far as I know, I've never seen one try to jump that. That would be an amazing jump, to be honest. Because most of them will go like this. You know, like they will go very, very little. They will not jump two spaces. So for them to jump not just two spaces, not three spaces, but four spaces over, yeah, he'd be like the Michael Jordan of the dwarves here. These guys do not jump, unless, of course, you're controlling them. And then, yeah, you might be able to get two, maybe three spaces as you fell. Like, you would have to be falling and maybe moving that direction. I don't think you'd be able to get four. Not not in this distance. Maybe, maybe up here you'd have enough space to get over to four somewhere all the way down here but you're still going to take a massive hit every single time you do that and they won't do that on purpose uh, which i'm glad to say now like they used to be doing that on purpose and 
Uh, yeah, you, you could get very easily annoyed with that because your dwarves would be dying left and right from just falling. Like, it was very severe when I first started this game, the fall. And I think they kind of lowered that. They realized that, yeah, it is a skill that you can put books into, but not one most people really want to... Like, it just seems like a necessity, being able to climb as a miner. You know, like you just you seem to be able to need that more than anything else. So they've kind of improved their skill with doing it. Oh, just as I say that, he falls down. Why he's on the elevator anyway? So... Jeez, that, that, that's rough. Some of these guys, man, they, they need to go back to uh, mining school and <laughs> learn how to do this. Now, my guys, in case you guys are watching this for the very first time, my guys are all miners, every single one of them. Uh, they have a different skill, whether it's, uh, you know, swords, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, they're, they're melee or whether they're a mage. Uh, they have different skills in those, but they're all miners, every single one of them. They do have a third skill, which, you know, varies depending on which one they started with. I haven't really gone back and said, oh, I want you to be this, I want you to be that. Uh, you know, they have pretty good equipment on, too. Uh, at some point, I need to I need to upgrade some of these boots, right? No, no, that was for, I made one extra. Yeah, so we do need to upgrade some of their equipment. How many people are left? You need a breastplate. So five, six guys. Six guys are left. You don't even have a breastplate? What happened to your... Oh, that's right. We lost some stuff on this guy. When they die, they don't ever, they don't always get everything back. And that kind of sucks. I don't know if uh, you guys have seen that before, or if that's just something that's uh, kind of a bug every so often that you run into or not. But, uh, yeah, it definitely is something that is kind of annoying. Like, it actually happens, and when it does, and your guys are wearing, like, mithril armor, you know, you feel that. That's not exactly the greatest feeling in the world to lose something that valuable. Uh, very very quickly just because they died now of course they shouldn't be dying at this point so i understand maybe they're they're trying to punish you a little bit my guys do need some more food and water um I haven't really been giving them the best stuff in the world i've been giving them the cheapest stuff to make stuff that either takes just the mushrooms alone or it takes mushroom then coal because i had tons of it for a long period of time but yeah overall not the the greatest tasting food and I haven't been giving them beer in a while, and it's just because I haven't been able to afford doing it. It uses iron. Iron is not uh, something I have a lot of on the map, and at some point uh, I'll probably just have to spend my gold to buy it. Now, somebody did have a, a really good comment. Let me see if I can come over here and check it out. Oh, I actually need to fill this in before the next wave, and we only have four minutes left. So let's enter the shop. Now, somebody had a, a comment that you might be able to buy the gold ore, I think two or three of them or something like that, and then make them into gold coins yourself. I don't think I have a recipe for gold coins. Uh, I was looking for it earlier. I don't see it in here. If you guys know where it's at or if that's a thing, uh, definitely leave a comment down below. But uh, as, as far as I'm aware, there are no no recipes for that. It'd be kind of cool if you could, if you could find gold on the map and then convert it into gold coins and then use those gold coins for whatever you want. That would be... I don't know if I would say it's a cheat. It could be just another technique on getting resources. You know, like you can use the lesser resources like this. You can use coal and, you know, stone to make iron and then so on to silver and then from silver to gold. And then once you get enough gold, make coins out of it and then use that to buy like mithril rather than sitting there making it yourself. I don't know how they would incorporate that into the game. Like there's gold coins in here. There's just no recipes for it. And I don't know if you put gold coins in here, what do you get back out of it? Let, let's see. Unable to disassemble. So it might be kind of cool for them to do that in reverse, which is just to give you uh, gold bars or something like that, or gold nuggets out of your gold coins when you uh, you know recycle that. But unfortunately, they're not doing that either. So it's kind of a cool little uh, idea. I, I do appreciate the comment and uh, you know the suggestion because it, it does kind of uh, conjure up the possibilities of what you might be able to do with that. But yeah, unfortunately, not at the moment. Uh, can we do any of that? So this guy is going to go rest a little bit as soon as he uh, he gets up there from the elevator. Let's see, you're already sleeping. You're constructing. No, you're going to go to bed. Actually, I guess he, he wants to finish before he goes to bed. There we go. Go to sleep. Go into stockpile, constructing. I'm going to let you uh, com finish doing what you're doing. Is he doing something else? No, he's not. You're going to go to bed. There you go. And two minutes, uh, or actually I have... About three and a half minutes may sound like a lot of time until you take into account the fact that they have to walk a very, 
very far distance before they finally get back to their bed. Uh, waiting? No. Well, I mean, you are going to have to wait, but you're going to go back up to bed. What about you collecting resources? Uh, you're going to bed. You as well. You as well. I mean, they're not really that hurt. There we go. I think that's pretty much everybody. Collecting resources. You probably just got hurt. You probably just fell down because I missed that guy the first time. Okay, so they're all good. Okay, everybody's fine. I got two minutes left, which should get people enough time to get up here and go to bed. Uh, you can see some of the food is already missing. They may be gone for a long, long time. And before they get back up here, they may be very hungry. But they won't make their trip up here just to get food most of the time unless they are close to starving. If they have a lot of stuff down there, they'll stay down there for a long period of time. But when they finally do make their way up here, and it's usually pretty often because most of the time they you know not only mining stuff but they have to come back up here and put it back in the warehouse and unless you have a lot of minions doing that for you they're gonna be up here pretty uh, pretty commonly so what you could do is add a few tables next to this so they will always be able to pick food up on their way back out and they won't have to come back down here I just do it down here because it looks kinda cool I like having my, my room set, set up in a certain way now this area up here it needs a huge revamp it needs to be worked on a great deal this is not how I want to keep my base looking but for now it works it's uh, you know it's fine let's see can we make a few traps I don't want to make too many in fact can I make any more cages cages would be nice uh, locks where are the locks? No, I want to hold on to that. So we'll just make traps. I could make wooden traps as far as uh, the cages go. Unfortunately, they do break through these eventually from what I hear. So I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just do the wooden traps uh, and get a little bit of damage out of it. Not too much. I don't really need a whole lot of these anymore because my guys are pretty uber. But as you guys remember seeing on the last one, they did take a little bit of damage. Can I put any up there? No, I cannot. They did take a little bit of damage on the last one and I think I lost a dwarf or two because of just uh, you know how fast they attacked and uh, where they attacked and things of that sort. Let's go ahead and chop that down. Let's get some more traps out here. Now I do know I could put them down inside of the cages. Uh, I was kind of reserving those that I have left for that uh, mainly when they get back over here to the entrance uh, where my guys need a little bit more help but of course they do have the Tesla towers over here so I'm trying not to do uh, too many right there. Uh, let's see, we'll do a few over here, a little further away. Wish I could do some up here, because that's where they were coming from last time. I got three more left. Let's do some out here. Now, the reason I don't want to kill too many of them off out here uh, is, is twofold. One, uh, you know, if you kill them off out here, then your towers didn't get to do any good, and you kind of over overpowered or used too many traps uh, you could have used a few less get them all the way over here and uh, use the two together so that way one trap doesn't just disappear really quickly the second reason is my guys get no skill points out of that so definitely something to consider when uh, thinking about let's actually bring my guys up here <laughs> unfortunately by putting that down they will no longer be putting down any of the traps and all these traps that I have set to, to be put down will Will basically go unanswered so let's get rid of that a little bit of power wasted there but in the end i'd rather them put down one or two more traps before the enemy starts showing up than put down none at all i should have got to it a little sooner maybe at six minutes started doing the sleeping and that way they would have an extra minute or two it really wouldn't have taken that much time for them to do this but yeah unfortunately uh because i didn't uh, and i do need to seal this up this is where they've been coming through quite a bit and they've just been falling down on top of my face and that's been kind of a an annoyance. So the monster portals are coming. Are you guys putting down the traps? Yeah, pretty much everybody has a trap on them. Now I could always take control over one of these guys and once you have control over your dwarf uh, you can put down any object you have in your inventory uh, without having to go back to the warehouse. You can just put it down as many times as you have it. Uh, so you can have one guy just go one to one to the next uh, putting down traps with never going back and uh, he'd be able to do this whole place in like a minute, maybe even less than that, uh, because you're controlling it. And I do have guys just sitting over here. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Where are you going? He's probably going up here to attack because he's an idiot, and he's going to get over his get, on, get in over his head. <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Why? They weren't attacking. They weren't doing anything. Now you have to pick on people right when we have a fight? Like, really? Is, is that something you have to do right now oh jeez this guy's picked like the worst time oh here they come 
Okay, so now we need to go ahead and tell my guys to come over here. Now, they won't necessarily have to come up here uh, to get into it, but uh, they do prefer that if they can. Um, a lot of them will just sit underneath and be like, well, yeah, we need to be over here, but we can't quite get into there, so we'll just sit down here. Sitting down here is perfectly fine with me for the most part as well, because this is where the enemies are going to be coming. Uh, they do have enemies that will fly down here, the gargoyles, and these little, little dogs here have the tendency to jump up here and fight on the top. And plus, they can always parachute down on top of you and just regular guys. When they do that, it can be pretty rough. Wow, these guys just uh, came right through my open doors. Huh. Not sure I really like that, but thankfully I got a lot of guys over here. And look, they're all trapped. No more can they move, and uh, the Tesla Towers can kind of just sit here and uh, destroy them. This one, however, is not attacking them. I guess they're just not close enough. I think they need somebody to be right there for it to happen. And unfortunately, they're kind of bugged out right there. Do it! Come on, kill him! Oh, my guys are whipping butt right now. I might be jinxing myself here, but they're doing really, really well. And now they're coming from the other side. Okay, so that's why we did so well. We were only getting attacked from one side. My guys had the ability to kind of concentrate their attacks on that side. And yeah, they've been able to pull them back really well over here. Now, now we got the other side. Holy crap, look at all these beholders. A lot, a lot of these eyeballs coming through. Now, you might be wondering why you can come up here and kill these guys anymore. Is it really even worth it beyond the skill? Well, the items they drop are still pretty nice items to have. The grains, uh, the gold coins, you know, the, the, the bones and stuff. I mean, you could technically seal yourself off from the surface and wait until daytime and most of these guys will burn. Some of them won't burn anymore because you are underground. So I guess, you know, at a certain point, uh, these things would just be all over the place. And the only way to get outside would be a portal. But... I think they probably find a way to get to you. They do have the tendency to build ladders and uh, dig down. So I think even if you had like 50, 60 layers of dirt on top of your base, uh, they would eventually find a way down there. Now, they won't leave because this little thing is still up, so I need to go ahead and cancel that. And now they're going to go ahead and start picking up all the resources and taking it back to the bases, or the base, I should say, and uh, filling that in. They will also come back up here and put down the, uh, the traps now that it's too late. Now, let's see, where is it raining? Because I can hear it raining right above my head. Is it getting pulled in one spot? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right, let's come over here and gather the water. We're going to need lots and lots of water. Hopefully, they will get up here in time. There's no guarantee. It is a portal, but they do have a lot of stuff next to their base that they need to get to, and they might have that on a higher priority at the moment. Now, here we go. Finally, one person is all it takes. They should be able to get most of this done by themselves. Because the water level will go down evenly. I guess maybe not. He doesn't, uh, <laughs> he didn't really want to stay there. But he should come right back if I'm lucky. Maybe. Come on, you can do it. Wait, what's attacking my guys? I kind of want to go over there and look. I think there's a few stragglers still left from that last wave. Yeah, because now the wave is finally over. It's ticking down. Come on, guys. Just one person. Just one person before it goes away. I need the water. Please. Please. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Do it. Nice. Ah, oh, crap, man. A dwarf died? Are you kidding me? Where is this? Ah, oh, dang it. I should have came down here sooner. Why, oh, why? Ah, oh, I hope that water was good enough for a dwarf's life. Jeez. And you know what? They have to fight it on this elevator unit because that's just, uh, you know, their intelligence. And I bet you more than anything, I have a dwarf who died down here. Wow, look at this. They came all the way down here, guys. Wait, am I getting attacked from below or above? don't know if we hit a camp or what. I mean, why would they be down this far? Unless they travel down that distance. Huh. I don't I don't know on that one, but... Uh, oh, look at them. They're jumping down to fight my guys. Jeez. Okay. A dwarf died. Where did you die? Oh, no. He died right there, guys. That is where his equipment is. Let's see. What did he have? What did he have? Uh, mithril, hill mithril breastplate. What kind of weapon? A hammer, maybe? It looked like a hammer. Yeah, it's a hammer. Dang it, those guys die left and right. I tell you, the, the melee guys are not easily survivable class. 
seems like uh, you know you really want to go with the ranged ones if you want longevity. But unfortunately, you do need a few melee in there. Otherwise, you just will not survive very long. Especially once you get to PvP. But man, I cannot believe we lost another one. All this time and effort to make sure my guys survive, sending them to bed, uh, giving them the best gear in the world, and they just do not survive very long. It's just uh, it's kind of heartbreaking. So these guys will be getting a little bit of an upgrade. Just a little bit, not too great. Uh, where's the weapon? Yeah, it's still in there. Okay, good. Didn't lose that, at least. I mean, that would have been uh, gut-riching to lose that. Okay, we're going to give you a better helmet. Uh, you're going to be good on everything else. You need a uh, better breastplate. And you're good on everything else. And you got the same breastplate. There's nothing I can do to upgrade you. However, you can get a better helmet. And, of course, I can take apart some of these older stuff... Uh, and then, of course, we got a new guy coming in. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back into that. We got a new guy coming in. Somebody who just died. Okay, yeah, I got both boots. I, say, I should have two boots in there. What are you guys doing? Did you guys go up there and get the water? I doubt it. It's probably gone by now. Yep, it sure is. Thanks thanks a lot, guys. You're fantastic. You could be here all week. I know you are. <laughs> I mean, it's a torn situation between, you know, being happy that they are dead because they suck at what they do and wanting to make sure that they got good stuff on. Why do you not have anything on your guy? Didn't I just give you gold? Right? Uh, how did I miss this guy? Like, completely. I don't know. I don't know how we missed that guy. That sucks. Okay, let's come back in here. And uh, you're going to be a mage, so you're going to stick with all of that. You got silver. I'll give you an, a silver axe. Again, he lost most of his stuff somehow. Maybe he fell in lava and I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. But I put my minions down, and they will go and fly out. These little blue guys will go out and fly and find all the resources on your map. And I put them down off camera, and I sat there for about 30 minutes doing nothing else. My dwarves didn't have anything to do. They didn't go out and find anything. And my little minions didn't have anything to do. And I put them everywhere on this map. And they could not find that mithril armor. So, yeah, it's it's not there anymore. It's not like it's uh, sitting in a little you know, corner down here just waiting for somebody to find it and take it back. I looked all over the map. I couldn't find it. Uh, so I'm guessing, yeah, like I said before, it fell down here in the lava and uh, either got destroyed or... I did see some of my minions, I would put them down right here next to the lava. And instead of flying up directly, a lot of them would kind of spread out a little bit until they have something to do. And when they spread out, some of them would actually touch the lava and they would die instantly. So I don't know if that meant that they were just kind of spreading out and they happened to touch it. Or if there's a few resources down here that uh, they just can't come in here and get. Now your dwarves can come down here, but they can't last for very long. So I don't know. I mean, like I said, my dwarves didn't have anything to do. And even then... They, uh, they still didn't go down there and get it. So unless that's just part of their coding to not go down in lava for any reason. Uh, and if that's the case, I don't know how I would make my guys do it. Like how would, I, how would I force them to go down there and get that stuff? Unless I could do it myself. But one of the downsides to playing the character yourself is you do not have the ability to pick up resources. Like you just cannot do it. And so I don't know if there's a way to, to pick that stuff up. I mean, that may just be lost forever, and uh, it sucks because it was mithril. You know, like, that's a lot of resources down the drain. Lots of, uh, lots of time and valuable, valuable, valuable resources that you just cannot get again on the map. So it just shows you to be a little bit more careful, teaches you that there is consequences, like big consequences, to, uh, you know, being very careless with your dwarves, as I was doing earlier when I was just watching the water. I knew they were getting attacked, but I thought like, oh, they can handle it. Why wouldn't they be able to handle it? Well, apparently they couldn't. Apparently they uh, they came in probably from over here on the side. You know, I seal it up every single time, and they just come back over here and, and cut right through it. So I, I think I need to uh, spend a little bit more time and uh, trap the entrance or something and do, uh, do, do a better job of making sure they don't come in here and just wreck my guys all over again uh, but I, I think we're gonna go ahead and ki you don't have kill we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here guys again I do want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe it definitely helps my channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. I know I say that all the time guys uh, it is like the little spill that you do at the end but uh, it does mean a whole lot to me 
the fact that you guys are enjoying these videos. That's why I make them. I, you know, I want to share the experience with you. And we have come through this game together for a very long time now, guys. We have, uh, you know, done all the levels. We've uh, learned the... If you guys go back and watch some of my earlier videos when I first started, I didn't know anything about this game. It was a complete and total blind playthrough. That's how I, you know, enjoy doing most of my videos and most of my games that I play. Is coming through and doing, uh, you know, blind playthrough. There's a few of them out there where I am... Uh, pretty knowledgeable about like EverQuest, uh, EverQuest 2, uh, games like that. Games that I've been playing for years myself and then decided to do videos for because I still play them today and I greatly enjoy them, you know. But there's other games out there that are coming out that I think look pretty cool and they end up actually being very cool. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about them when we start. So, yeah, it's kind of a, one of those unique experiences. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and it seems like you have. And I just want to thank you guys again for doing that. It just it means a whole lot to me that you guys come out and enjoy the experiences with us. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.